Welcome to Top Tier Trader. I'm your host, Grant Hardy, and we have another interview with Chris Kane. He's going to go over his trading right now. He's got some really good news. I'm really excited to hear from him, and so you guys can see how he's been. Pretty good. I've been pretty good. I took a little time off because I like I lost other challenges. Y'all, y'all got to see that. <laughs> and uh, so I took the time off. You know, reassessed. Tried to find me a, a good strategy. Found one with like a proper risk management, and I've just been using this strategy so far on the challenge, and it's been working out. So I'm ahead right now. So, so before we get into the strategy, how many challenges have you failed, and how much are you up in this one? I have failed two challenges, and I think the highest percentage I ever made it into those challenges was like six percent profit. Uh -huh. This time I'm doing the the plus. Mm -hmm. And so I have to just make 8% instead of 10%. And in this one, I'm up whatever percentage that is. I'm 11, I'm, I'm taking a $200,000 challenge this time because okay. I did back test the strategy. I'm confident in it, confident enough to go in hard. So right. I'm up 11,777. Okay, so you're, you're getting there. So 16,000 is your, your target, right? That's my profit, yeah. So no. you're getting there. So you profit. failed to, you're on the third one. You took some time off, you reevaluated. Mm -hmm. Now you're killing it. So before yeah. we get into your strategy, because I really want you to just kind of dive into it a little bit, uh, let's go into your back office and see what this new strategy is doing for you, right? Yeah. So I have it here. So he's at 11,700, right? Uh, let's see. Active trading days, 15 days, right? 60% win rate, 40% loss rate. You are... Your average losing trade is $548 and your average winning trade is $800. So that's a lot better than what we've seen in the past with your trading, not to mention your win and loss rate. So that's really cool. Um, so what are you doing? It's new. And, and how did you, and how long have you been doing this? Uh, so I've been watching this trade. I watched YouTube, YouTube, you know, YouTube Academy. Right. Watch the YouTube video and saw this strategy does it have a name i have no idea what it would be called huh i don't remember the guy's name it's mark something okay but it's it's pretty much like find a place where price moves swiftly away from from a consolidation zone uh -huh. after it consolidates for a small amount of time and it'll leave like an indicator of like where positions are being filled so are you using any any indicators with this trade, and like what time frame are you using? You can use it on any time frame, but I've been using the 15 minute. Just, really? Just so I can have, you know, it's fun and, that and way. This is something trades. that you noticed and then looked up on YouTube, or how did you discover this? I saw it on YouTube and then watched it happen, wasn't going into these trades, yeah. but watched it happen time and time again, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. Okay. so. Let's go into trading view. Maybe you can just give us a quick example of what you're doing. I'm gonna pass you the computer here, and maybe you can see. Right. Maybe we can see exactly what you're doing. So, this is cool. This is the first time I'm seeing this. So this was like an extra bit. Is this fib? But what I did see in here was small consolidation zone. Right. It's consolidated uh -huh. for a small amount of time. We're on the 15 minute. Right. Small consolidation, and as it falls out of here, it leaves this like a little bit of pullback before moving swiftly. Right. So what I'm looking for is price to come back to that zone, finish filling orders, and then coming back to here. So coming back to the bottom. Okay. So in this particular trade, and it worked out to be- Was a this trade. a trade that you took? This is a trade that I took okay. today, actually. Okay, so where did you enter at? I entered at this, at this 61. Okay. So it's right here, it was down. We were about you, right you here. entered there on the red candles. Entered here. Down. Stop loss was above the previous high. Take profit at the low. And it just wicked me. Touched it just, it. just wow. wicked me. It was perfect. It was a good trade. It did have some drawdown. Mm -hmm. But overall, it moved pretty fast into take profit. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. And then this isn't showing it on this particular one. I'm trading on MT4. Uh -huh. And it showed like a lot of hidden divergence here. Like there were several signs were hidden so, moving so averages. So you have more than one confluence. Uh, yes. Than just, you know, your consolidation zone and a break of that. Yes. Okay. There's several things. Yeah. 
So you're, so you're, you're still averages. lurking. So you're still looking at moving averages. You're still looking at divergence, and you're you're taking the trade based off of all the confluence off of that consolidation zone. Yes. Very cool. I'll have to definitely look into this more, and it looks like it's working. I mean, I'm with you a lot. You know, up here at the office and, and working, and, and every day you're showing me these trades that you're making, and you're killing it. I mean, you guys can see it obviously here on his back office. I'm really excited because you know Chris is a He's a very good trader. He's a very smart person, and he, you know, he failed the first two, and he he took it the right way, and right now he's on the right path, you know, for his third challenge to pass tier one. So we're gonna, you know, give him some space, you know, not put too much pressure on him, and we're gonna come back and reevaluate where he's at because it looks like he knows exactly what he's looking for in the market and he understands his strategy. So that's how important it is to keep going and understand and this is new to him so this is really cool and exciting to watch yeah so that being said like subscribe comment tune in for the next one we're all going to see where he's at i'm excited to see what's going to happen and i'm excited to learn this strategy and look for it in the markets as well